Hey, what's up? It's your boy Elijah Glenn. <clears throat> Welcome back to another edition of Glenn's is how I see it. Um, you know, we're on the Humble Dad podcast. And uh, I want to talk to you um, for a moment about um, a couple different things, uh, like some housekeeping stuff. You know, got the new hat, got the new shirt. Uh, if you, you want any of those things, um, all you got to do is uh, go to Humble Dad. 78 at gmail.com uh hit me up and I'll, I'll let you know where you can find it or i'll also put it and i'll also put a description uh, a link in the description box <clears throat> um so i am trying to build my channel uh to tell the world about um the, what, what a good dad looks like and also that there are many good dads out there that are doing their, their thing in, in, in relation to raising their kids and that they're not getting enough credit. OK. And so I want to give them credit uh, what credit is due. Um, as you may or may not know, studies show that the absentee father uh, in the household living with the child that they created uh, when they are not there, uh, it's a. A very troublesome childhood to say the least and what is interesting is that society as a whole knows this like if you talk to an individual they they understand that um, however the decision to create a child um, is not hammered and uh, the decision to create a child uh, without there being a marriage um, has constantly um, plagued us since the, I guess, the 70s. And so, um, however, now that we are in the position of where there are more single mothers than actual people being together um, as, as a marriage, in, in a marriage to raise their kid, uh, we are seeing more and more uh, young people grow up not understanding what the dynamics of a husband and a wife are, what is leading, what is being submissive, uh, what, what those things look like. And that brings me also to a hot topic about this this guy named Nick Cannon. I'm a fan of his work in the sense of wilding out. I think it's hilarious. I like how he brings all of these individuals together to create an improv of comedy, if you will. And uh, although those things are good, or, or I won't say good, but all those things are, are funny, and and, so, and oftentimes relevant because we want to laugh. We we know we need to laugh for for health reasons in some sort. Um, it is in, it is not okay that he has had um, his seventh baby uh, with I don't know how many baby mommies mamas that he has. It's okay to have kids. But you need to have the kid with the with, you need to be in the household with that kid, man, because you are doing a disservice, Mr. Nick Cannon. I don't even know you for sure, but the research is against you to show that um, or to say um, when the, the when the dad is not in the house, the kid will suffer emotionally. So you're you are creating a lot of single mothers is what you're doing. And that is uh, unfortunate because you're getting praise for get, having your seventh child, from what I see and what I've read, um, when in fact it, it should be frowned upon, frowned upon because you say that you are for black people. However, the number one, one of the number one issues is uh, fatherlessness in the black community. Now, how is it that you are going to be a dad to all seven of them when you have several baby mamas? How can that happen? What do you think is going to uh, what do you think is going to happen to your, your kids because you give them money, because you buy them things, because you hang out with them uh, when the time permits? No, sir. Do you think that that's going to do something? Uh, yes, but not something positive. Uh, so I am just saying that there are many other people out here that are um, 
doing what they're supposed to do, which is marry their, their wife and then have kids and raise their kids together. Because that is the most stable way in order for a, uh, a kid to uh, grow up um, and, and be themselves mentally and emotionally stable. It, it, and um, and knowing, like I said before, and knowing exactly how a man and a woman are in a, in a relationship. Uh, but Nick Cannon, the way that you have uh, conducted yourself, and of course, I, I am a. In in your eyes, I'm I'm not anyone. However, the the facts and the truth are are there on my side that you are doing a disservice um, to to your children by not uh, being with the mother. Now, if you were to marry them all and then they are all in your house, marry all the uh, the baby mamas and they're all in the house and you raise your, your kids um, in that sense, then that's your prerogative. I don't necessarily agree with that, but however, that would be much better than what it is that you're currently doing. So um, that's just that's just my two cents, and I hope that uh, somehow this this reaches you, and, and you're compelled to to listen to what I'm saying. Uh, and if you want to just sit down and talk behind the scenes, I'm cool with that. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not looking. It, you know, everybody's looking for some way to clout chase, uh, and so I am not clout chasing. But however, I do want people to know um, the importance of the dad being in the house. And so this is a humble dad channel, and so I just want to talk about uh, dad things. You did. So um, thank you for your time. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment on on the um, on the channel. Uh, appreciate it. We out here. Deuces.